This is London. This is London. I'm Fiona Fox and welcome to another edition of LDN Capital TV right here exclusively on the Fight Network. Now what a show we've got for you this week. Two newcomers are looking to make a big splash here on Capital TV. First up David DeVille is making his TV debut as the first member of the LDN Wrestling Academy to become a full-time pro wrestler. But he's going to have his work cut out for him against an on-form Danny Garnell. Next up Lee Walker makes his debut and he'll be looking to prove he's not a man to be messed with when he steps in the ring with Jonathan Hardwick. Lee Walker is a former paratrooper and served his country in Iraq, but how will he fare here in LDN? And then, after the challenge laid down last week right here on Capital TV, Jorgos proves he's a fighting champion by taking on another former champion in the form of Tex Benedict in our main event. It should be a great match and a great show. So let's head down to ringside and join the man who calls the matches, Mr TV, John Atkins. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome once again to LDN Capital TV here at the All Saints Art Centre in Totteridge with me John Atkins and what a match up to kick things off here this week on Capital TV making his way to the ring Danny Garnell he will be going toe to toe with a newcomer here in the in the company David DeVille the top student from the LDN Academy only recently turned professional and he is going to be making a, well, hoping to make a name for himself here tonight against Danny Garnell. And ladies and gentlemen, his opponent from Oxford, weighing in at 13 stone, 7 pounds, this is David DeVille. Indeed, David DeVille making his LDN Capital TV debut here this week in Totteridge. And the man looks to be in great shape and the fans are delighted to see him. And this is an exciting time for this young man. Taking on Danny Garnell. Garnell, of course, already an established star in the company. He has spent a lot of time hanging around the LDN, or the former LDN British champion, the notorious John Ritchie. And he has picked up one or two character traits from him, that being one of them we just saw there, kicking the middle rope. That David DeVille standing on there. Referee Chris Roberts, our referee this week, just checking the boots of Garnell and indeed the boots of DeVille. Oh, and a little shove there from Garnell. Just showing Chris Roberts who, bo who the boss is, but Chris Roberts will not be intimidated. He's a great official, he does a good job. And he is laying down the law, and no mistake, before this matchup even starts. Well, there you go, the bell rings. And these two young men just circling each other. Danny Garnell, of course, the more experienced of the two. David DeVille making his professional debut here tonight on LDN Capital TV. Collar and elbow tie up. The two men lock up in the center of the ring. Garnell looking to power up, but he gets caught in a wrist lock and makes his way to those ropes to break the hold very quickly. Garnell claiming a hair pull, and the referee's having none of that. David DeVille, as I mentioned, is the top student of the LDN Academy based in Edmonton in North London. Not to be mistaken for Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, of course. You'll have seen the adverts for the school throughout the week here on the Fight Network. And David DeVille is the top product from that academy. He has worked long and hard for many, many months 
and tonight he turns professional and would love to score a big win in his debut against Danny Garnell. And of course, coming up later in the hour, we have got another newcomer facing Jonathan Hardwick, a young man who served his country in Iraq, a former paratrooper, Lee Walker. He'll be going on against Jonathan Hardwick later. And of course, our main event for the LDN British Championship, the new champion, Yorgos Christopoulos, puts his belt on the line against Boston, Massachusetts' own Tex Benedict. So a real packed hour of wrestling we have got for you here this week on the Fight Network. LDN Capital TV, the only British wrestling show on television anywhere in the world today. Gone out maneuvering the young Deville in the early goings of this contest. But Deville close enough to that bottom rope to buy himself some breathing space. Garnell straight back off that left arm though. Just tying him in knots. Flips him over. And Deville in quite a precarious position. And the fans not shy about expressing their true feelings for Danny Garnell. But like him or hate him, and most of these fans certainly hate him, Garnell is, make no mistake about it, Garnell is a top athlete. Very experienced, very credible wrestler. Lots of good technique, and of course, many moves that he has picked up from the notorious John Ritchie, or should I say gentleman John Ritchie, the former LDN champion. Ritchie was the champ for pretty much the last 14 and a half months here in LDN. And for much of that time, Danny Garnell was right by his side, studying his every move. And picking up a lot of tactics, but he didn't get... Oh, my, a big splash there from Garnell. And a bulldog. And Garnell lands face first in the ring. And Deville finally taken down. And some big left hands just clobbering the side of Deville's head. And they may have been closed fists. The referee's in there. Deville doing what he can to keep his shoulders off the floor. And that shoulder being pulled right out of its socket. Deville rolls through. And I have to say, I am impressed by this young man making his professional debut here tonight on Capital TV against Danny Garnell. Garnell, of course, first came to prominence in the Golden Grapplers tournament where he took out Mike Mendoza. He injured Mendoza and caused him to take a several months of leave of absence. Since then, his confidence has grown exponentially. Nice cover there. Deville kicks out. And I suspect that both of these young men are going to be big names in British wrestling for many years to come. And you are seeing them first here on LDN Capital TV. And you can see, I believe... Well, Deville just got his feet in that bottom rope there, and the referee broke the hold. And indeed, fans, coming up later tonight, the new LDN champion, Yorgos, puts his belt on the line for the first time here on Capital TV against another former LDN champion from the USA, Tex Benedict. It's going to be a cracking match. Benedict, of course, fresh off a win over the Scottish star Adrian Lionheart Blair last week here on Capital TV. Yes. 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 And Yorgos riding high after a big victory at Legend Showdown over the notorious John Ritchie. That is going to be a great matchup, and you're going to want to stay tuned to the Fight Network.
You will only see British wrestling of this quality right here on the Fight Network and right here on Capital TV. And the leg of Deville is wrenched. And Deville just grasping at that knee socket. These are dangerous days. And now the fans really getting on the case of Danny Garnell. And that is either going to spur him on to victory or distract him and allow Deville the chance to sneak a win, maybe. And in fact, Deville does. He reverses the, he reverses the whip. Garnell lands hard, ribs first. Deville climbs up to the top, but he gets caught. He gets caught with a blow to the back. And Garnell with a devastating powerball off the top rope. Holds onto those legs. Wrenches him into that Boston Crab-like maneuver. Deville stretching out for all he can, but there's nowhere to go. And he taps out in a hurry. And the opening contest of this week's LDN Capital TV goes to Danny Garnell. Nothing for David Deville to be ashamed of. It was an impressive debut, and he showed that he has got all the potential in the world. But let's just take a look. A power bomb off the top ropes. Holds onto those legs and just wrenches them back. And there's nowhere for Deville to go. He gave a great effort there. And he has got plenty of potential. But in the end, the win goes to Danny Garnell. This week, we here at LDN have received another strongly worded statement from Mr. Lloyd Ryan. Atlantis Kronos Goth, your response was nothing but empty words. Now that I've thrown off the shackles of Kendo Nagasaki, after all these years, I am dedicating my life to destroying the pair of you. I challenge you to a match, Robbie Brookside and my son, Damien, versus Nagasaki and whoever he chooses to bring along with him. And to show that I'm serious, deadly serious, I am prepared to stake my son's future on the outcome. Welcome, disciples of Kendo Nagasaki. I see that Ryan has descended to the level of cheap insults, but he's just cheapening himself. It's skill and strength and power that will win the day, and we have those in abundance. We speak from experience and a long record of success, but Ryan's claims for his son's abilities are untested and complete fantasy. Kendo Nagasaki would not demean himself by entertaining such a trivial challenge. Well, fans, it's a return to LDN Capital TV for the former councillor, Mr. Jonathan Hardwick, one of the most successful stars here in LDN over the last 12 months. A very impressive win-loss record. He has taken on many of LDN's top stars and indeed defeated the vast majority of them. hoping that tonight will be no different as he takes on Lee Walker. are delighted about this. Lee Walker now about to make his way to the ring. As we get a good look at him right here on Capital TV. And this man is in shape. Take a look at this guy making his Capital TV debut here tonight. The former serviceman, he has served his country in Iraq. And now he has turned his he has turned his attention to the world of British professional wrestling. And he looks like he means business. And Jonathan Hardwick almost ridiculously arrogant. Oh my! 
Hardwick's going to wish he didn't do that. Look up there between Walker and Hardwick. My goodness, I get the feeling not too many people will have slapped Lee Walker in the face and lived to tell the tale. Nonetheless, Hardwick with more actual wrestling experience under his collar. Or has he? Nice flip through there from Lee Walker. Hardwick looking to roll out himself. Goes behind for the hammerlock. Easily reversed by Walker. Walker giving up a good couple of inches in height, but I believe they both weigh the same, and it is clear just by looking at them who has got the better muscle tone. Make no mistake about it, Jonathan Hardwick is no slouch in the ring, and I certainly wouldn't want to mess with him. But Lee Walker is absolutely solid. This man is a powerhouse. He has served his country in Iraq, a former paratrooper. And now coming here to LDN in 2008. Oh, the splits there from Hardwick. Great agility. This building here in Totteridge is absolutely packed to the rafters. And you can hear every single fan and attendance making noise. And they are just happy to be a part of LDN Capital TV right here on the Fight Network. Hardwick sent off the ropes, comes up with a big shoulder barge. That sends Lee Walker down. Walker with the leapfrog. Hardwick caught with the hip toss. And Jonathan Hardwick landing hard on the back. No time to recover. Winded momentarily, gets his breath back. Catches himself in the middle, but gets caught from behind by Lee Walker. Oh, a blow to the... Lower crotch there. And that was a sneaky tactic there from Jonathan Hardwick. The referee in the corner checking on Hardwick. And what he didn't see was the boot of Jonathan Hardwick placed firmly into the groin of Lee Walker. And I don't care how big or strong you are, a boot to the groin is going to put you down. Walker doing his best to recover, but Jonathan Hardwick still with the upper hand. Walker ducks the clothesline, comes off the rope, ducks a second. But gets caught with a backbreaker there. The backbreaker, one of Jonathan Hardwick's signature maneuvers. But let's not forget his jumping pile driver. He has put away opponent after opponent with that leaping pile driver. And he is just softening up Lee Walker for that move. Let's hope Walker's done his homework. Will he have scouted Hardwick? Will he know to avoid that maneuver? Chops in the corner. Just whipping that chest red raw. That one was in the face. Well, Walker's had all he can stand and he can't stand no more. Hardwick landing hard in the top rope. Gets sent across the ring and gets caught with a drop kick. And this Lee Walker, he's the real deal. He is the real deal. This man knows what he's doing. But he goes down hard on that occasion with a big right arm there from Jonathan Hardwick. And that caught him, I believe, in the side of the head. That may have knocked him in the ear and affected his balance. You notice he still hasn't got back up to his feet. His head may well be spinning.
Hardwick again with a front face lock. Just weakening Lee Walker, bringing him back down to his knees. Slowing him down, softening him up, getting him ready for that jumping pile driver. By any means he can. But Lee Walker making his capital TV debut here tonight. Doing all he can to avoid that. He rams Hardwick into two turnbuckles. Still unable to weaken the hold. This time he does escape. Sends Hardwick flying across the ring. Follows up with a clothesline. Hardwick looks absolutely exhausted. And now he may just be ready. He is ready for that pile driver. If he hits it, it's over. If Hardwick can hit the jumping pile driver, it's over. But Hardwick's. Hardwick gets caught. Walker puts the brakes on. These are dangerous days. Comes off the ropes, drops a leg to the back of the head, rolls him over. What's he got lined up now? Comes off the middle with a leg drop. That surely has to be all. There's a cover. But no, he didn't hook the leg. And Jonathan Hardwick kicks out. But Walker, very impressive. Pure strength. Pure strength from this young man. Big power slam. And now he's going up top. Lee Walker is going up top. He has served in Her Majesty's forces. And now he's here in LDN. And he is going to do some damage to Jonathan Hardwick with a big flying head drop from the top turnbuckle. And still Hardwick kicks out. And again, Lee Walker didn't hook the leg. And that may have been his downfall. And a roll up. A roll up there from Hardwick. And Hardwick getting desperate now, still only gets the two count. But Hardwick, I think, realising he may have bitten off more than he can chew. And again, he is looking to slow Walker down. And now he catches, he has got him in position. He has got him where he didn't want to be. And what is keeping him? He just needs to jump up in the air. But Walker powered out. Walker powered out. And he gets planted himself. And he hooks the leg, and this time Hardwick is down. And it's one, two, three. It's all over a win here for Lee Walker in his LDN Capital TV debut. Let's see if we can get a replay of that. Hardwick had him set up for that jumping pile driver. But Walker able to unbalance himself, picks him up and slams him down head first. Hooks that leg. The shoulders are down, one, two, three, and a big win for Lee Walker. Coming up next, Yorgos versus Benedict for the LDN British Championship. Hello fans, Fiona Fox here ready to dish the dirt on another edition of the London Eye. First up, we've got some big news for you as LDN are proud to announce the introduction of a brand new championship belt next week, right here on Capital TV. After running successfully for the past two years and producing some of the top new wave of stars in the UK wrestling scene, the LDN Wrestling Academy, based in North London, will be introducing its own championship belt for its top students to compete for. Academy head trainer Justin Roberts, himself a former professional and amateur wrestling champion, will be on hand to award the belt to the winner of the match between two of his top students, Abel, and also a man who has already made a number of appearances on Capital TV, Billy Reynolds. Both men are training hard for the match and the inaugural champion will be crowned right here next week. In other news, we can now exclusively reveal that after months of negotiations, a top British wrestling superstar is finally making his way to LDN. Arguably Europe's finest export, the anarchist Doug Williams will be making his LDN debut here on Capital TV in three weeks' time against Danny Garnell. Williams has wrestled all over the world and has won championships in the United States, Japan and across Europe. After making his debut against Garnell, Williams will be off on another tour of Japan for a few months, but he's made it clear that once he returns, he's interested in one thing and one thing only, winning the LDN British Championship. We wish him luck and await his arrival with bated breath. And talking of the LDN British Championship, it's on the line next, as Jorgos defends the belt against Tex Benedict in this week's main event.
Well, fans, it's main event time here this week on LDM Capital TV, and what a matchup we have got for you. The first televised title defense by the new LDM British champion, Yorgos Christopoulos. He is taking on Boston, Massachusetts' own Tex Benedict, and what a contest this is going to be. We saw the challenge laid down last week here on Capital TV. Yorgos came out to be presented with the big gold belt by the LDN owner, Mr. Sanjay Bagger. The coronation was interrupted by that man right there. What kind of glue is keeping that beard on? And so we are about to see the first title defense of the new champion, Yorgos Christopoulos. Gentleman John Ritchie held that belt for over one year. 14 and a half months to be exact. He lost it at Legend Showdown just weeks ago here on Capital TV. And look at Bandit again getting in the face of a toddler. Surly Tex Benedict. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, with liberty and justice for all. Well, I don't know about you, fans, but I find that highly distasteful. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to bring into the ring his opponent. Originally hailing from Athens in Greece, he weighed in at 13 stone, 9 pounds. Making the first defense of his LDN British Championship and belt. Please welcome Yorgos Christopoulos! I find that highly distasteful indeed. How dare Tex Benedict thrust his culture upon us and force us to endure the Pledge of Allegiance. But now here comes your champion, a proud Greek heritage, a marvelous Mediterranean background, a pure professional wrestler, making his first televised title defense here on Capital TV. The Mediterranean sensation and new LDN British champion, Yorgos Christopoulos. Now, I wonder just how confident Yorgos is. He's certainly confident in his own abilities, but is he confident he's going to be able to overcome the nefarious tactics so often employed by Tex Benedict? One thing's for certain, he's a big hit with the young fans in attendance here in LDN at the All Saints Art Centre in Todridge. And we are here courtesy of Father Benjamin. Many thanks to you, Father. And that there is what it's all about. That big gold belt. The LDN British Heavyweight Championship title. Every wrestler in the United Kingdom wants to be the owner of that belt. They want to wear it around their waist. If they didn't, they wouldn't have become professional wrestlers. If they tell you they're not interested, they are lying. Fans, that is the biggest belt in the United Kingdom and the most important. A rich wrestling heritage. Now proudly carried to the ring by Yorgos Christopoulos, who pledged last week to defend it against any and all comers. And first in line was Tex Benedict. The referee for the bout, Chris Roberts. He is explaining the significance of this matchup. 
He is not going to take any nonsense from either man. He is making they sure he is making sure they know exactly what is at stake. It is that beautiful gold belt, the LDN British Championship, the number one prize in British wrestling. Defended here exclusively on LDN Capital TV, the only British wrestling show on TV anywhere in the world today. And what a beautiful sight. And credit to Yorgos, he could easily have taken some time off. He went through a grueling matchup with John Ritchie to win that belt. He didn't have to run back into action so quickly. He could easily have taken a couple more weeks off to recover. But he wants to put that belt on the line. And you know what he said to me before the show tonight? He said, where's the fun in owning the belt if you don't defend it? Well, Yorgos undoubtedly proud of his Greek heritage, but just as happy with his adopted home of England and the United Kingdom. A transition that Benedict has not been able to make so comfortably. And that is why the fans are solidly behind Yorgos Christopoulos. And very much against Tex Benedict. Well, Benedict asking the fans to calm down, and I don't see any reason why they should. And once again, Benedict referring to unleash his wrath on the young children in the front row, rather than the professional wrestler in the opposite corner of the ring to him. And Benedict, who was all talk last week here on Capital TV, all of a sudden very hesitant to look up with the champion. And the fans are calling him on it. And he's saying he's not a chicken. But we may well have a new consignment for Colonel Sanders if this match doesn't start up sooner. These are dangerous days. changed Yorgos's mind in a hurry and it is exactly that reason why Yorgos was a little bit cagey making his way to the ring this evening here on Capital TV he is confident in his own abilities he knows in a straight up one-on-one -on -one wrestling match he can beat any wrestler in the world but it's when you've got the likes of Tex Benedict and their hair pulls and their thumbs to the eye and their kicks to the groin and their illegal tactics. That's when you've got your hands full. And that's when things are out of your hands. That's when the matchup is out of your control. And that is when you have to put your faith in the referee and Chris Roberts. And Roberts always does a great job, but he's just one man. And he doesn't have eyes in the back of his head. And there's only so much that one man can do. Nonetheless, Yorgos is down, but he gets a foot up straight into the jaw of Tex Benedict. And that's going to loosen a couple of teeth. Release German suplex there on Benedict, who is sent flying across the ring, and a big scoop slam. And Jorgos on fire, and Benedict sent to the outside. And this matchup did not start in the way that Tex Benedict would have liked it to. And he can't look to the fans for support now. And again, Tex Benedict going after those youngsters. And a 
rabid response here from the fans in Totteridge. But Benedict has had enough. He's had, I believe he's heading backstage. Benedict making his way to the merchandise table. This man is just in no hurry at all to get this matchup underway. And you have to wonder, is it mind games? Is it a psychological trick? Is he trying to lull Yorgos into a full sense of security? Or does he just have so little self-belief in his own abilities? He is brought back into the ring the hard way. Another scoop slam there from Yorgos. And Yorgos picks him right back up and whips him across the ring and catches him with a shoulder tackle in mid-air. Yorgos showing the skills that have made him the LDN British champion. Yorgos not putting a foot wrong. But Benedict able to sidestep that one and gets a big boot up into the face of Yorgos. Just twists him around, looks for that neck breaker. And Yorgos lands hard on the back of his head. Oh, and a knee to the elbow as well. Right in the socket. And now Benedict continuing to work on that arm joint. It's that left arm, he's just pulling it back. Hyper extending at the shoulder. And there's only so much punishment that the human arm can take. I don't believe Yorgos has ever given up in his life at anything. But he may be forced to submit here. Or risk dislocating his shoulder perhaps, or maybe worse. But that would be a tragic end to his title reign were that to happen. And fortunately for Yorgos, he was able to return to his feet. But Benedict still holding on to the arm. Still twisting it around at the wrist. And now begging the silence of the fans. Here at the All Saints Art Centre. And take a look at that. Comes off the top with a leg scissors onto that left arm. And now after spending so much time getting under the skin of Yorgos and refusing to wrestle, he is now very much in charge of this matchup. And we saw right here on Capital TV just seven days ago exactly the lengths Benedict will go to to win a match, to get under the skin of his opponent, to play psychological mind games. Last week we saw him play possum. He lulled his opponent Adrian Lionheart Blair into a full sense of security. Blair went for the cover and Benedict just snuck him up with a roll up out of nowhere. Blair believed Benedict to be injured but there was nothing of the sort going on. And Benedict scored a win and it set him in good stead for this matchup here tonight. This is the biggest matchup that Tex Benedict has had for six or seven months here on Capital TV. He had a number of shots at the former champion, the notorious John Ritchie, in happier days. And unfortunately, came up on the losing end on every one. And indeed, some say it was those matches with Ritchie that really sent them over the edge into the dark, twisted character that we see today. Certainly, I never predicted he would come back with a beard so full. But that is just indicative of the new attitude displayed here by Tex Benedict. And Jorgos, who got off to a great start here tonight, now finds himself in the middle of the ring one arm, the left arm, you can see the left arm just hanging limp at his side. It has taken so much punishment. That may well be useless now in the remainder of the contest. Benedict continuing to lay on the punishment. 
And that appeared to be a chokehold, and the referee's coming down hard on Benedict. But it's a title matchup, there's a lot at stake, and he's letting it go. And it's a good call from the official. And Benedict continuing to work on that left arm. He might get the submission. He might get the win. We may see a new champion here on LDN Capital TV, here tonight on the Fight Network. But the fans are willing Yorgos on. They are willing him to turn things around, to reverse the maneuver, to escape from the hold, to get back in control of the contest, and he just might do it from sheer willpower alone. Goes behind, hooks the arms, there's a backslide. The shoulders are down, Benedict's pinned, but it's just a two count. And it's so close, but here's a roll up, and Benedict's shoulders are down again, and again another two count. And Yorgos showing the tenacity that brought him all the way to the dance, that helped him defeat John Ritchie, that gave him the upper edge against many of the top stars here in LDN over the last several months that put him in line for the title shot, that brought him to Legend Showdown, that made him the top star in British wrestling here today, the LDN British champion. He has turned things around. He may be on the brink of snatching victory from the jaws of defeat, but Benedict lands on his feet. And Benedict again after that left arm, and now hooking the right arm too. Just pulling both limbs behind the head of Yorgos. And Yorgos unable to defend himself. And Yorgos literally screaming in agony. And after chasing John Ritchie for 14 months, his title reign may be short-lived. Benedict just unleashing blows across the skull. And now entwining him in that upper rope. And he gets a warning there from the referee for that. He has got to let Yorgos back in the ring. Well, he taunts the crowd with a closed fist, but he gets a clean suplex. And a nice cover, but it just gets a two. And Benedict absolutely furious that he was unable to put away the champion for the three. And he raked to the eyes with the shoe there. And I don't know how much longer referee Chris Roberts is going to let that kind of behaviour go. But this is a title match and the fans want to see a clean winner. And here at Capital TV, we pride ourselves in bringing you the very best wrestling action currently taking place in Britain today. The very best that the United Kingdom has to offer. And we are seeing that with Yorgos and Tex Benedict. And Yorgos finding himself in a place that he might not want to be. He is caught up on that top turnbuckle. And Benedict climbing up. And things do not look good for the champion, who is superplexed off the top rope. But Benedict landed hard on the back of his own head. Benedict landed hard on the back of his own head. And both men are down in the middle of the ring. And that was a high risk maneuver there from Tex Benedict. If it had paid off. He would have enjoyed rich dividends, but he landed hard on the back of his own head and was not able to fully capitalize. Make no mistake about it, that move took its toll on the champion, but it hurt Benedict as well. And Benedict now going up top. Looking for that moonsault, but Yorgos well out of the way. And now an opening for the champion. An opening for Yorgos. Benedict with desperation headbutts to the chest. But a belly 
into Bell and he holds on. Yorgos with the cover and he gets it. And Yorgos holds on to the belt here in Trebridge. And what a great ending to LDN Capital TV this week. A successful title defence for the new champion, Yorgos Christopoulos. A great showing there by the challenger, Tex Benedict. Take a look at this. Hooks both of the arms. Belly to belly, holds on there. The shoulders are down. One, two, three. The winner of the match and still the champion, Yorgos Christopoulos. What a great display there from the Mediterranean sensation. A fantastic matchup and a great hour of wrestling here on Capital TV. We have got more where that came from. Next week on Capital TV, we will see the introduction of a new championship, the LDN Academy title. That will be won here on Capital TV next week. Plus the return of the Bombay Dream, Ross Jordan, taking on the 2007 Golden Grappler, Johnny Kidd. It is gonna be a great show here next week on LDN Capital TV. But what a way to end this week's edition. The first successful title defense from Yorgos. And the fans are all over him. What a sight, what a sight only at the All Saints Art Center here in Totteridge. That's all we've got time for here this week. We'll see you next time on LDN Capital TV.